into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Kevin Gossman. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Here's Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And now it's Juan Soto. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Oh, and one. One down, base is empty. Aye. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Aye. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited. It was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Aaron Judge in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right side of the infield. Guerrero drifts towards it. And that is that. We're midway in inning number one. No score. Here at Rogers Center and on the hill, Garrett Cole. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo gets under it. Puts it away for the out. One away. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Throw to first is in time. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both All righties one. and lefties. And that one at 95 one missed up top, and it's one to know. On the ground. What a stop to his knee, the throw on the money. Nice play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Top of the second. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Number 28, Austin Wells. Gosman, back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And a swing and a miss. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. That one out to right, and that is Springer. Drops into the glove, and there's one away. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role 
does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Glaber Torres in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Two outs, base is empty. Good. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging DJ in. LeMay. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Second inning here, no score. And it's quickly nothing and two on uh, the designated hitter. On the ground to third, into the outfield, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Batting seven, the shortstop. Anthony, Anthony Volpe, Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Going around. Ah. All ones the count. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Swing and a miss struck him out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Now it's Justin Turner. Turner's an interesting guy to talk hitting with. Someone that kind of espouses the modern hitting philosophy. The whole let the ball travel, let the ball get deep. For Justin Turner, that is beat it with that. I want to hit the ball out front. I want to hit the ball out in front of the plate. That's what he is trying to do. Right side. Verdugo gets under it. Makes the grab, one down. Batting big. The better field. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. Throws the first in time. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch and throw. He is at the top of the game. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Going on! Third home run of the season. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two outs, nobody on. Now it's the second baseman. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Judge. And that will end the inning. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 1-0. Back now in Toronto. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Fielder, number 12, Trent Grisham. The pitch. There's a strike. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Kicks and fires. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. 
And the righty deals. Foul ball still 0-2. And the pitch stays alive. The 0-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Here's the 0-2. Got it by him for the play. That was a really nice pitch call for that put away slider right there. You look at the sequence in that at bat, and he hadn't thrown it yet, so this makes it really tough to recognize and fight off with two strikes. I'm sure it looked like a fastball all the way until it wasn't. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the catch. Two down. Now batter, right fielder. Alex. And stepping in for the Yankees, Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and he'll make it to second base with two gone. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So a man aboard, Juan Soto will hit next. Ball. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. Tying run in scoring position. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. His 28th home run of the season, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. It's Aaron Judge now. He's 0 for 1. And Judge spoils that one. Sneaks through, base hit. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. And that's in there for strike one. one, one. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. Two outs. That misses. Now one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Ball down the line. And that's the third out. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. Back after this on the show. I wasn't thinking about doing something like trying to get my. As we go to the last of the third. And now it's going to be Ernie Clement. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. 
Pitch misses. Nope, one ball oh. one. Clement measures six feet even in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2017. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Grounder might be two. Over to Torres. How about that double play? Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now the right fielder, George Springer, swings through that. All one's the count. This to third. Throws the first in time. That takes care of Springer. And the inning is over. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Ball one, no strike. That one a little bit high. And the count is 2-0. Strike one. On the ground to the left. Fires over to Guerrero. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The batter. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Lifted in the air right center field. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. Now that Anthony. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Volpe, the next to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Hey. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike Four one. one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Offense held a check there. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Yankees two and the Blue Jays one. Back here at Rogers Center, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Spencer Horowitz. And a pitch. In the air to left center. Soto going after it. He's got it. One down. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Grounded out his first time up. That one is absolutely belted. Verdugo ranging back. Tattooed to Tater Town. He sends it out of here, and it ties it up. It's 2-2. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that. It's so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Torres snags it for the second out. The center fielder, number 25. And now the center fielder, Dalton Varsho, grounded out his first time. That one the other way. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. Vlad Guerrero Jr. with the solo shot for Toronto. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Swings through that one for strike one. That big swing and a miss. Ball, two strikes. 
Yeah. Yeah. 95 to finish him off. Man, he stood no chance in that at bat. A three-pitch strikeout, swung through all three. Tell you what, Boog, it's not a good feeling at all. You know that from experience? Uh, it's happened a time or two. If I didn't roll over on the first pitch, sinker a second base, then, you know, in there long enough, then I would, yeah, I've, I've had a couple. My guy, fantastic. <laughs> Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. That one fouled off. You'll want. Now a pop up on the infield. Guerrero drifts towards it, nabs it, out number two. Now batting the right fielder. And next for New York, Alex Verdugo. One for two. That's in there. Strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Three. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Yanks held in check. And this game is still tied at two and two. Now in Toronto, and now the catcher comes up to him, Alejandro Kirk. The wind in the pitch. Out towards left center, on his way over. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's the second baseman. He's over one. And a foul ball. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. In the air, out towards right center. Verdugo gets under it, brings it in, two down. Up next to the blue play, the third baseman. So up next, Ernie Clement. One for one with a single so far. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Grisham sizing this one up. Makes the catch in and over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. We are tied 2-2. set for the Leading top of the sixth. The now the left fielder, the left fielder Juan Soto. Juan Soto. Gosman back to work. Soto measures six feet, two oh, inches, 225 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Righty delivers. Little chopper rolls foul. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. What out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Aaron Judge at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one missing low. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Judge comes up empty there. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. He's up to three home runs in the series. And the Yankees have the lead. It's 3-2. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And 
you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. So one out, nobody on. And the batter now, Austin Wells. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. Wells there you go. checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went, says Larry Buller. Up next to the game. The Glaber Torres up to the Glaber. plate, having a lot Torres. more success on the road this season. First nope. pitch, Ball and one. he just misses. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're in the top half of the sixth. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes. That's the third out. Solo shot from Aaron Judge for the Yanks. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. That misses, and that's ball one. Bounce to the right side, Torres. Tosses to first, one away, bottom of the six. So the batting order turns over. George Springer next up for the Blue Jays. Up the middle, Volpe. On the run, throw to first. Out. Two up, two down. Up next to the blue jay. The shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Spencer Horwitz. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with a chance to make an impact with two away. Up next to the blue jay. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. Foul ball there. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Bounced up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. They get the out, and that'll do it. One left for Toronto. They're down three to two. New inning getting started. Digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. D.J. LeMayhew. Gosman back to work. Bounce to the left side. Clement. Zips it across. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe. That's in for a strike at 95. And it's 0-1. That's through there for a strike. 0-2 oh, count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I'm going to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed or wet. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, 
I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Two outs. Oh, that's good. Struck him out looking. Nothing doing here this half. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Yankees three, and the Blue Jays two. Bottom of the seventh, Justin Turner now. to work up the middle dives and he can't hang on and he'll be safe at first Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout and he will make a move to the bullpen Garrett Cole is done in this one just never found his groove wasn't able to settle in new arm coming on back in a moment Luis Heal comes on now. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. No outs. Runner at first. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. All ones, we count. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seven. And a swing and a miss there. Ooh, by you. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And a pitch. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, no outs. Alejandro Kirk now at the plate. Swings and misses. 0-1. 0-1. So the tying run at second. Ground ball right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. And that is a big first out. That right there was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners into scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a couple of runs. So two in scoring position with one out. Now it's the second baseman. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. One run is in. The tying run is in to score, and we are starting over. And the throws offline, safe at third. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. And the oh, first pitch off. misses for ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Nope. And that one a little below the knees. And now 2-0. On the ground, right side. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. A run comes in on the play. New arm out of the 
bullpen, number 50. He's been so good against lefties. One down. Kevin Kiermeyer next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and no get the fielder. first hitter he faces. Just makes everything Go. slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Back to the top of the lineup, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And that one's a little bit low. One and oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tim Hill getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. That one hit to right. Verdugo gets under it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays four and the Yankees three. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Trevor Richards. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And he deals. Cabrera in the box now. Takes strike one. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Drifts towards it. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch in foul ground. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. Hey. Swings through that one out in front that time. That one's Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. That's hey. in there. And the count is 0-2. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. Hey. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off and stin that at bat. Watch Soto now. He's already homered in this game. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. One one is fouled off. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Down in order, go the Yankees. They still trail it here, four to three. And welcome back to the ballpark. And Stop Spencer Horowitz. And here it comes. On the ground to short. Volpe whips it to first on the run. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now passing. First baseman. Vladimir. So digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for three.
in the air right field pretty well struck that one's carrying on the warning track and hauls it in now back the designated hitter Justin. two outs base is empty so now Turner in on that right side Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Lifted in the air, right field. Verdugo gets under it, makes the play, and it's out number three. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Chad Green. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Well, one run game, and here's the first baseman, Aaron Judge. The pitch. And Judge spoils that one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the pitch. Got him swinging. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. He's two outs away. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your bullpen arm when you roll him out there to start a new inning, hold on to a small lead. Just such a stabilizing effect. And not only get the first two hitters, but to strike them out. That gives everyone on defense a big boost of confidence. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Right through there for a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That just misses. One and one. This could end it. Got him. And that'll do it. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And the final score here, 4-3. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Listen, these bars I granted this death switch. Legendary layup, Jordan with the right left switch. Hang time, hang glass, third frame. Shanghai, Kansas, rain, drizzle frame.